Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel Amazon African Motives. Uh, so in this platform we shall be actually focusing on the velocity or uh, speed time graphs. Uh, actually it's a, from the questions which are asked from uh, uh, the Amazon uh, African Motives family. So remember guys we talked about a condition of having questions that we ask then we work on those questions actually in video so that uh, it can benefit also others because uh, remember a question can be uh, someone's question also so it can also help a lot so uh, that is the concept so I shall just quickly rush through the question that I was given there to work on I'm gonna display it but uh, I think that was the first part where we are given uh, it was taken from uh, one of the textbooks I think we, which was on number four then we are given fig 28.26 is the speed time graph on an electric of an electric train so we are given the speed time graph of an electric train and that was the fig uh, 28.6 okay so this is the fig 28.6 that is the velocity time graph that we're given there all right then uh, let's see the questions okay so we got uh, the questions there uh, these were the questions that given that the total distance traveled in 60 seconds is 700 meters calculate the maximum speed uh, v meters per second all right the acceleration of the train during the first 10 seconds and the distance traveled in the first 10 in the first 15 seconds all right so these were the questions that we had there okay so um we had a uh, our velocity time graph here which is the speed time graph actually uh, we talked about these graphs uh, so i'm just going to work on the question uh, not on the topic i'm going to work on the question here all right so if you are to cross check here we are given an unknown value of the velocity yes it's the maximum velocity and we know that uh, at that point the acceleration here is equal to zero when there is a constant but this cannot give us the value of v so which part can i use to find the value of v okay we are given here that the distance traveled for in the 60 seconds which means we are talking about the total distance of the whole uh, that is the distance for the whole journey and we talked about a distance being the area under the graph so area under the graph this is your graph here this part which is a continuous part that is the graph this is not part of your graph these lines are just indicating to show this point this at this line it is equivalent to v at this point is 10 at this point so your graph is this part which is a continuous path so you are following a continuous path so the distance is going to give us the tot is going to be from the total area of the figure that you are given so how can I calculate the area because this total this figure that I'm having here that's a trapezium okay so we have got a trapezium there and we know that the area of a trapezium because we are talking about distance being equal to area and we know that the area of a trapezium is equal to half sum of parallel size times what the perpendicular height so that is what we have in this case so which means from this part our parallel sides we've got this side here this is your parallel side from this point to this point and this side these are your parallel side and this will become your perpendicular height this is your perpendicular so it's perpendicular like this so this is the height here which is going to meet this vertical and horizontal line at what at 90 degrees so the height in this case is the one that is the same if you are to cross check this is this is your height and is the same as what as v so this height here is the one that we are referring to as what as v okay then this part here from 10 to 50 from 10 to 50 here this is the same point from 10 to 50 there's a difference of what 50 minus 10 there's a difference of 40 here all right so this is from 0 to 60 this is another problem so from 0 to 60 there there's a difference of what of 60 there all right so remember area of a trapezium so this is the area 
which is the distance which we are given that the total the total distance is 700 meters so we are going to equate that so 700 is equal to the area now which is the area of the what the area of the trapezium where we said it's half sum of parallel sides so we are going to have half sum of parallel sides which are the sides which are parallel so we've got 40 and this 60 so it's 40 plus 60 there all right 40 plus 60 multiply by the perpendicular height and this perpendicular height is the one that we referred to as the velocity which is v so that's it guys so that means i can solve for this v how can i solve okay 700 is equal to half multiplied by i can add these two numbers 40 plus uh, 60 that's a 100 times v all right and uh, half of 100 if you multiply half and 100 that's 50 v so if 700 is equal to 50 v therefore what is the value of v we are now solving a normal equation guys just divide by 50 there by 50 there all right so our v is going to be 700 over 50 or which is the same thing as uh 70 over 5 and 7 over 5 what do you obtain guys from 70 over 5 70 divided by 5 which is got something like 14 all right so that's our v and this v is velocity so velocity or speed is measured in what meters per second so that was the idea there guys to find the value of v once the value of v is there once you know that this is 14 it's now easier to answer the other questions okay so the first question is fine uh, let's move on to B. B, we are given that uh, calculate the acceleration of the train during the first 10 seconds. The acceleration of the train during the first 10 seconds. Take note. All right. So during the first 10 seconds, this is what happened. This is 10 here. The object started at zero, accelerated to this velocity of 14 in what? In 10 seconds, as you can cross check okay and we know that um if you actually watched our videos on velocity time graph the introduction of velocity time graph we talked about uh, acceleration being equal to the change in velocity over the change in what over the change in time where i said it's v2 minus v1 over t2 minus t1 so that is what you refer to as the acceleration which is measured in meters per se square second okay so v2 that's your final velocity we started here that is the initial and your final in 10 seconds this was the final which was 14 so it's 14 minus v1 we said our initial velocity here that's a zero there so that's minus zero over t2 minus t1 that's the difference it took 10 was in the first 10 seconds so it's 10 minus 0 we started here ended at 10 seconds so it's t2 t1 so that's 10 minus 0 there all right so as we can see guys we can actually obtain the acceleration there 14 minus 0 that's 14 over 10 minus 0 that's 10 so 10 divided by uh, 14 divided by 10 that's 1,4 yeah 1,4 meters per square second or someone can write this as 1,4 meters per square second in this manner it's one and the same thing but acceleration you must know the units guys acceleration it's meters per square second all right so we have the acceleration uh for these 10 seconds then um, the interesting question is this one where we are asked to calculate the distance traveled in the first 15 seconds Okay, these guys they are very clever they want us to calculate the distance which was traveled in the fifth in the first 15 seconds all right so what you simply do is that from your velocity time graph you are going to make an assumption of where we are going to have 15 seconds all right if you are to cross check here this is 10 so you can just assume maybe 15 is at this point at this point let's say this is our 15 
so which means we are going to have something like this which is a trapezium like this guys or diagram was like this i think my diagram is now dirty but it was something like this all right where well, we got zero here and this is 10 and this is a uh, 50 and this is 60. so i'm saying when you're asked to calculate the was you're talking about the distance which was traveled in the first 15 seconds so you can just uh, make an assumption that let's let's say this is my this is my 15 because 15 is supposed to be after 10 okay it's after 10 so this is where we can have 15 and it's before 50 because we can't have our 15 between 50 and 60 that one does not make sense okay so it's supposed to be at, at least at this point okay so let's say this is where i am having my 15 like this so which means i'm going to calculate this area here because remember distance is equal to area and we obtained this value here it was 14 so we need to calculate the area of that shape so there are two options that i can do actually i have got uh, two options here to, to divide my shape like this into a triangle and a rectangle b like that because what i need is that area or i can just combine that area to be a trapezium if as you can see this is a trapezium yeah that's a trapezium that one okay so the distance is equivalent area so if the distance is equivalent area i'm going to use of the edge for for the triangle plus area of a rectangle which is length times width okay so what am i going to have half times the base what will be the base of the triangle this is the base of the triangle from 0 to 10 so that's 10 times the height of the triangle which is what which is 14 so it's half of 10 by 14 okay plus length times width for the rectangle this is your rectangle this is the length 14 times between 10 and uh, 15 we've got five units there so it's a uh, it's length times the width so it's 14 times five all right so this is what you're going to have there all right now let's just work out these guys uh two into 14 there that's seven seven times um 10 that's 70 plus if you multiply this that's going to give you a 70 again then you add 70 plus 70 which is 140 meters okay so this is actually the distance which was traveled in the first um 15 seconds okay so like i said we can use the trapezium as a whole so let's see if we could yes if you could have used this trapezium as a whole like this so remember we said the area of a trapezium is half uh it's gonna be the distance from a trapezium we've got half sum of parallel sides times the perpendicular height okay so we've got half times which are the parallel sides in this case all right these are the parallel sides this side here the sides which do not meet like this your trapezium is like this this is your trapezium okay so if this is your trapezium these are the sides which are parallel and that is your perpendicular height okay so this is the side from this point to this point and we know that at this point we have got 10 at this point we've got 15 so you subtract 15 minus 10 which is 5 so it's half 5 plus uh from 0 to 15 this is another parallel side here so it's 15 minus 0 which is 15 okay times the perpendicular height this is the height here or this one which is equal to 14 so you could have used this formula all right so let's just add first remember board mass brackets first so it's half of five five plus uh 15 which is 20 there so you're going to have half of 20 by 14 all right of which half of 20 there that's a 10 10 times 14 which is uh, going to give you 140 meters remember it's distance so it's going to be in meters all right so that's it guys uh actually on this question so as you can see guys it's a matter of understanding uh the concept and the ideas uh, the formulas also that you actually have when working with a velocity time graph so it can be a velocity time graph or it can be referred to as a speed time graph the calculations they are the same so guys more questions to come uh, from you so that we can at least work on them and revise them 
uh, together so that's it guys from Amazon African Motives uh, working with all level mathematics till we meet again